Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Here's one more than a few of you have been waiting on, a bell sleeve turtleneck. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten to it before, but we are now, so more than a few of you should be happy. And if you're happy, a great way to show support so I can keep making you happy would be to click that bell. It'll notify you so you're first in line when there's a new upload, and it goes towards helping the channel grow. So win-win. Now, I've got a bust to move, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 450 grams of yarn, or that's 850 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5 and, and 6.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. I'm using three stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5 millimeter hook and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of our top to be. I want mine to be about 12 inches or 33 centimeters. So I'm going to make a chain of 45. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. This is our turning chain, and we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, which is a yarn over. Into that chain that we blocked off, or our third chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a half double crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through one, three loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through three. Let's do this again. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three. Put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one because we're going to increase together. We've half double crocheted into every chain and we have left our last one, so we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets into there. So yarn over, Insert your hook into that last chain with one half double crochet and one more half double crochet into that same last chain. Do a chain up of one, flip our work, and now we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches. So, into that first stitch that we have, instead of inserting our hook in through both loops like usual, we're going to insert our hook into that back loop only, yarn over, pull through everything. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. We've done our back loop slip stitches all the way down, and now we're going to go back with our back loop half double crochet row. So we're going to chain up two, flip our work, and we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, with an increase of two into the last. So, into this first back loop, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop, pull through, pull through three, yarn over, into that next back loop, pull through, pull through three. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and we'll increase together into the last. We've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and we're going to increase together into this last stitch. So, yarn over. Insert your hook into that last back loop, pull through, pull through three, into that same back loop with our second half double crochet. And we're going to go back to our back loop slip stitch row. So do a chain up of one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to keep alternating between a back loop half double crochet row, where we do an increase of two at the end, and a back loop slip stitch row until this reaches the corner of our armpit, and then I will meet you guys back after a slip stitch row. I have the first half of my underarm portion all finished. I have a total of four rows. I have ended on my back loop slip stitch row. 
And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And when we reach the last, we're going to do an increase of three because we need this to have a little bit more of a curve before we go in with our shoulder. So from the bottom, chain up two, flip your work, and I'll meet you back at our last back loop. All right, so into our last back loop, we're now going to do an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop with one, with two, and then with three half double crochets. And we need to increase into our slip stitch row as well. So from here, we're going to chain two and flip our work. We're going to insert our hook into the second chain from our hook's back loop. So skip this first chain and insert your hook into that next chain's back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything, insert your hook into that first back loop into the body portion and pull through everything. And put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And repeat these two rows until this portion reaches the front of our body making sure we meet back after our back loop half double crochet row so that we can make a chain for our shoulder. I've done my underarm portions until this reaches the front of my body. I have ended on my back loop half double crochet row, and from here I'm going to make a chain that reaches up to my shoulder. So I've already measured mine out. I'm going to make a chain of 5 inches, or 13 centimeters, and that's a chain of 17. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do the next row in our sequence, which is a back loop slip stitch row. So we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off, we're going to insert our hook with a slip stitch. So insert, should have two loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. Into that next chain, insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. Put one slip stitch into every chain. Once we reach the body, Go back to doing back loop slip stitches all the way down. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. We're going to alternate between those two rows with no increases and no decreases until we get a shoulder size that we like. And I'll meet you back after a slip stitch row. My shoulder rows are finished. I have three of those rows and a total of ten rows. We're going to work on our next scoop now. So we're first going to insert our stitch marker into the stitch where we want our next scoop to start. I inserted mine into the second stitch from the top. So I'm going to do back loop half double crochets until I'm two stitches right before my stitch marker. We've put one back loop half double crochet until we have two stitches right before our stitch marker. So we're going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, Pull through one, we should have three loops on our hook, and then insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through one. Four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all four. We're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and decrease into our slip stitch row as well. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook into that next back loop. Yarn over and automatically pull through all three loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through one, two, three, all at the same time. And put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and leave the last two stitches because we're going to decrease one more time together. We've half double crocheted down and left our last two stitches, so let's decrease together once more. Yarn over. Insert into that second to last back loop, pull through. Into that last back loop, pull through. Yarn over, pull through four. Chain one, flip your work, and let's do our slip stitch decrease. Insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Next back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. One back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to repeat these two rows of back loop half double crochet row with a decrease and a back loop slip stitch row with a decrease until this reaches mid body. And I'll meet you back after a half double crochet row. I've reached the middle of my chest. I have a total of 19 rows and we ended on our half double crochet row. Our middle row is gonna be a slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. So do a chain of one, 
Flip your work and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one because we are going to increase. We have half double crocheted all the way up and left our last back loop, so we're going to increase into there. Yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop, pull through, pull through three, and then once more into that same back loop. Now we're going to mirror everything that we did on this side. So since we did a decrease into our slip stitch row, we need to do an increase into our slip stitch row on this side. So do a chain of two, flip your work. We're going to skip that chain that's closest to our hook and then insert our hook into the next chain's back loop. Insert, yarn over, pull through everything, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Repeat these two rows, a half double crochet row with an increase at the end, and a slip stitch row with an increase on the end for the same amount of rows as we have on this side, and then I'll meet you back so that we can do our shoulder. I've just finished doing the increased portion of my scoop. I have the same amount of rows on both sides, and now we're going to make a chain for the same amount of stitches that we skipped over here so that we can do our shoulder portion. We skipped two stitches here, so on this side, I'm going to make a chain of one and then two. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of one, that's our turning chain, and then insert our hook into the second chain from our hook with a slip stitch and put one slip stitch into every chain, and then one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We're going to do rows of back loop slip stitches and back loop half double crochets for the same amount of rows that we have for this shoulder portion over here. And then I'll meet you back so that we can do our underarm. I have finished my shoulder rows, and now we're going to do our underarm. We did our underarm in two sections, so we're going to do the one where we decrease into every row first. We're first going to need to insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, I did 17 chains over here. So from the top, I counted down 17 and inserted my stitch marker. From here, I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet all the way up until we have three stitches right before our stitch marker. We've done our back loop half double crochets until we have three stitches right before our stitch marker. So let's do a decrease of three because on the other side we did an increase of three. Yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through. Into that second to last back loop, pull through, and then also into that last back loop. Yarn over, pull through. We should all have one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through all five. And we need to decrease into our slip stitch row as well. So chain one. Flip your work and let's do a decrease. Insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And repeat these two rows for the same amount of underarm rows that we have right before we curved up to our shoulder. And then I'll meet you back so that we can finish our underarm. We have just finished the first half of my underarm, and now we're going to close off by putting a decrease of two into every half double crochet. So all we're gonna do from here is put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, do a chain of two, one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then decrease into the last two. Keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our underarm portion right here. Do a chain of one cut, and then I'll meet you back. Okay, we have just finished our last underarm row. I did do a chain of a one and cut. From here, we're going to make another panel that is exactly the same as this first one that we did, and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we have both of our panels, we're ready to seam our pieces. The first thing we're going to do is our side seam. So we're going to want to make sure that the ribbing that we did is faced outwards. So if you guys take a look, the bottom side doesn't have as defined of a rib. So we're going to make sure that the top panel, the rib is face up, and for the back panel, the rib is face down. And then from here, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook and pull through. Do a chain up of one to secure, and now we're going to do outside loop slip stitches to seam our piece. 
So into the next available stitch, into the front panel, we're going to be inserting a hook into that front loop. And then into the next available stitch, into the back panel, insert your hook in through that back loop. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into the next available stitches, front loop. And then insert your hook into the next available stitches, back loop making sure we're going into that back panel. Yarn over, pull through everything. Continue your seam all the way up when you don't have any more stitches left to a chain of a one and cut. Our side is seamed and now we can seam our shoulder. We're first going to flip our work over, kind of like a book, so that our rib on the front and back panel are faced each other. And we're gonna seam our shoulder. So insert your hook into the corner stitch of the front panel and corner stitch of the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through everything, and put one single crochet into every side row that we have. So my first side row is this side half double crochet, so I'm going to insert my hook into there for my front panel, then into the same side half double crochet into my back panel, single crochet, and I actually just have one more, so let's do this with you guys. My next side row is a side slip stitch, so insert my hook into there, find that same loop into the back panel, Insert your hook into there, and then single crochet them together. And once we have that, I'm going to do a chain of one cut and seam my other shoulder inside. Now that we have seamed our panels, we're now going to work on our sleeve. So we're going to insert our hook into the last available stitch that we have into our side seam. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through. Do a chain up of one and don't mind all these tail ends. What we're going to do from here is put two single crochets into each side half double crochet and then one single crochet going all the way up and over. So let's do the first set of single crochets. This is my first side half double crochet, so I'm going to insert my hook into that top loop and then I'm going to single crochet once and into that same side half double crochet I'm going to insert my hook and single crochet again. Skip over this side slip stitch row and put two single crochet into the next side half double. So insert with one into that same side half double, insert with two. And keep doing this all the way up. Put one single crochet into every stitch going up and over the shoulder and then two single crochets into each of these side half doubles again and then I'll meet you back. Our row number one is finished. Getting started on row number two, we're going to need to make sure that we are working clockwise and then we're going to do single crochets and half double crochets and then close off with single crochets. Really quickly, we're doing that so that the top portion can spill over our shoulder while keeping this underarm portion as small as possible so that it doesn't buckle. So we're all going to start off by putting the same amount of single crochets that we did for this underarm portion. I ended up doing eight single crochets right here. So I'm going to start off with a chain of one and then put my eight single crochets. I have my single crochets and now we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch until we have the same amount of stitches as single crochets that we just made. So I'm going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert into that next stitch, one half double crochet and I'm going to put one half double crochet into every stitch until I have eight stitches left. I'm going to close this row off by doing eight single crochets, slip stitch into that chain one space, then I'll meet you back. Now that our row number two is done, we're now going to do a row of back loop slip stitches just like the body. So I've slip stitched into that chain one space, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, slip stitch into this chain one space, and I'll meet you back. We've just finished our slip stitch row and now we're going to go back to doing our single crochet and half double crochet row, but we are going to do some decreases because we do need this nice and snug. So do a chain up of one, flip your work, my work is already flipped, but we're going to put the same amount of single crochets that we did for our previous row. So I did a total of eight single crochets. So let's start with our back loop single crochets. Now that we have our single crochets, we're now going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets. 
So insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, the next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the same amount of single crochet rows that we just made, plus two for our decrease. So I'll meet you guys back when I have my 10 stitches left. I've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until I have my 10 stitches left. And so we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets first. So insert your hook into that next available back loop, yarn over, pull through. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. Slip stitch into that chain one space. Do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then do a row of back loop slip stitches. And we are going to repeat these two rows that we just did until this fits nice and snug around our arm. Then I'll meet you guys back. So I have 13 of my decrease rows. This is nice and fitted around my arm, and now we can do the same type of rows without the decreases to help lengthen and even out our sleeve rows. So I ended on my slip stitch row, and what we're going to do is do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then we're going to continue to put one back loop single crochet for the same amount of back loop single crochets that we had from our previous rows. So if you guys remember, I had a total of eight. And now that I have my back loop single crochets, I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until I have the same amount of stitches that I just made with my single crochets. So along this back half, I'm going to stop eight stitches before the last stitch, and then I'm going to switch back to my eight back loop single crochets and slip stitch this row closed, and then do a row of back loop slip stitches and keep alternating between those two rows until the sleeve becomes horizontal when you wear it. And then I'll meet you guys back. I have a total of 29 rows now, and when I try this on, this is horizontal on my arm. So now we're going to work on the length. I ended on my slip stitch row. So now we're going to alternate between a back loop half double and back loop slip stitch row with no increases or decreases until we reach right above our elbow. So getting started with our half double crochet row, we're going to do a chain of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. I'm going to make our way around, slip stitch into that second chain that we made, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Alternate between those two rows until we're ready to start decreasing again. All right, so I'm just a little bit above my elbow now, and I have a total of 43 rows. Now we're going to taper this in just a little bit before we start our bell sleeve. So into our half double crochet row, we're going to be decreasing right next to our chain that we're about to make, and then along the outside as well. So do a chain up of two, and into the first two stitches, we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all four of those loops, like that. And we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach about halfway point. If yours is off by about a stitch or two to meet the halfway point, that's completely fine. We just want to make sure that we meet each other back on the outside. We've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And now we're along the outside of our sleeve, so let's do another decrease. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, next back loop, pull through. Yarn over, pull through four, and then close this row off with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And from here, I'm going to be decreasing into every other half double crochet row until I'm ready to start my bell sleeve, and then I will meet you back. I have a total of 59 rows, and I'm now ready to get started on my bell sleeve. So the first thing we're going to do is switch to a six and a half millimeter hook. We're going to insert that onto our work. And my next row is a half double crochet row, so I'm going to be putting one half double crochet into every back loop. This first row may be a little bit of a struggle because this hook is a little bit bigger, but it is possible, but make your way all the way around, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When you reach the end of this row, slip stitch into that second chain, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch as well, and then I'll meet you back. 
we have the first two rows of our bell sleeve done, where it was just a half double crochet row and a slip stitch row with our six and a half millimeter hook. And now we're going to start increasing. So do a chain up of two, flip our work, and we're all going to start by putting seven back loop half double crochets into the next seven stitches. Yarn over into the first, row one, yarn over into the next, put our second. I'll meet you back when we have a total of seven half double crochets. When we have our seven half double crochets into the eighth, we're going to do our increase. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop with one half double crochet, then into that same back loop with two. We're going to do another set of seven back loop half double crochets and then an increase. We're going to maintain that sequence going all the way around. Slip stitch into that second chain, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Our first increase row is all finished, and we're going to do the same thing again. So do a chain up of two, flip your work, and work seven back loop half double crochets. Into the eighth, do an increase of two back loop half double crochets. Just like that, and then do another set of seven back loop half doubles and increase. And for the next row, put one slip stitch into every stitch. So we have our two half double crochet rows where we did seven back loop half double crochets and increased into the eight. Now we're going to move up to the next odd number, so we're going to do nine back loop half double crochets. Do a chain up of two, prepare for a half double crochet, and put one back loop half double crochet into the next nine stitches. I have my nine back loop half double crochets into my 10. I'm going to increase. So I'll put one back loop half double crochet and then another. I'm going to maintain the sequence going all the way around. Next row is going to be a row of back loop slip stitches. So just put one into every stitch. And then the row after that is going to be another nine back loop half double crochets and then increase into the 10. After that, we're going to be increasing in sets of two into our half double crochet rows only while moving up to the next odd number. So the next two half double crochet rows will be 11 back loop half double crochets, increase into the 12th. The next two will be 13 half double crochets, increase into the 14th. So on and so forth with a slip stitch row in between till we get the length of the sleeve that we like. I've just finished the entirety of my sleeve and I have a total of 84 rows. I did do a chain up of one and cut, so go ahead and do the same thing that you guys did here on the other side. We have finished both of our sleeves and now to finish this off, we're going to work on our mock neck. So we're going to start by inserting our five and a half millimeter hook into any one of these side rows along the neckline. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and we're going to start by putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet. So let's do that together. This is my first side half double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook with one single crochet and then insert my hook into that same side half double crochet with my second single crochet. We're going to be putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, and this part may be a little difficult because there's not a pretty loop for us to go into. We're just going to have to find whatever loop is on top, insert our hook, and put one single crochet. Let's do the next set together. This is my next side half double crochet, so insert with one single crochet and then insert with another single crochet and then one single crochet into our side slip stitch row so find that top loop and single crochet and we are going to keep doing this all the way around when we reach our chain up of one slip stitch into there and then i'll meet you back we've single crocheted all the way around and now we're going to make a chain the length that we want our mock neck to be i want mine to be about three inches or eight centimeters so I'm going to make a chain of 15. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, insert, if we can, with a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do this again. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through everything, and put one slip stitch into every chain. We have slip stitched into every chain and now we're going to slip stitch it into the next available stitch into the base to close off this row. So insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, 
hole through everything. Now this first row is closed off and we need to work our way up to the next row. So slip stitch into that next stitch, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of our row, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way down towards the base and then connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And keep alternating between those two rows all the way around until we don't have any more stitches left. We have made our way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. We don't have any more stitches left, so now we're going to seam our turtleneck. Since our hook is already in through the working yarn, we're going to insert our hook in through the corner stitch of our back panel, yarn over and pull through everything. And then into the next available stitch into the front panel, we're going to insert our hook into that front loop. And then into that same stitch into the back panel, insert your hook in through that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. So this is the same outside loop slip stitch seam that we did for our side. Let's do one more. Into that next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook into that front loop, and then next stitch into the back panel, insert through that back loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. We have seamed our entire neck and we are all done. The last thing we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. Our ends are woven in and our bell sleeve top is all finished. This top is a triple threat. It's one of my favorite colors, has bell sleeves and a high neck. What more could I ask for? <laughs> there is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCTDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what your favorite subject in school was and why. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a really big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all the next one.